How about this Sean Garris and the Boise State volleyball team gearing up to take on Nevada right now as we speak over at Bronco Gym. This is video from Thursday night showdown with San, uh, San Jose State. The Broncos dropped a heartbreaker in five sets. Boise State currently 12 and 3 so far this season, including a win over top 10 opponent Utah earlier this year. Speaking of the hardwood, Leon Rice and the Bronco men's basketball team started practice this week. It really is busy times over a Boise State basketball season. Also right around the corner and with that Leon Rice waking up early this morning to join us here on the Bronco Roundup Game Day show. Uh, Leon, first week of practice almost in the books for you guys. How good is it to be back out on the court with your boys? Oh, it's terrific. And, and just to have a sense of normalcy a little bit as far as practice and what we got to do this summer with player development. We missed out on all that last year and, and you know, we were really, really limited in the fall. And so just to have these guys in the gym together and it's been awesome. Uh, I got a great group of guys that they love to practice. They love to compete. I gotta got to hold the reins on them a little bit because, you know, it is early. It's early October and uh, they want to run, run, run. So, but we got a lot of guys with some experience and, and really competitive. It make that makes practice fun. Leon, you look at your guys' roster. What do you like most about it? You know, I think I like we got a little toughness to us, and and you should see these guys in the weight room. I'll tell you what, they look like Jay Tust in there. They're just <laughs> they're, they're they're throwing around some weight, and so I think we got some tough physical guys that. You know, that, that gets me excited about. I think, you know, I, I think I said it once that I think this team maybe will have the, the chance or the most chance to kind of fit the personality that I want want to coach to. And, um, you know, we, we've done that from an offensive end a lot, but I think this team could do that a little bit more from the defensive end. So you say the personality that you want to coach to, does that mean that they love dogs and want to play pickleball whenever they're not playing basketball? <laughs> they want to compete. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They want to compete. No question. They, oh, yeah, absolutely. And they do. They love Stella and uh, Zara sometimes. So it uh, absolutely. But that's what I love. I love having competitive guys. And, and that's, you know, it, I, I always talk about, you know, when I coached Adam Morrison and the best thing about him is he, he played basketball to find out who the toughest was, not, you know, not just to play basketball. And Prefontaine said that about his running. He said, I run races to see who the toughest is. And I kind of like that in a basketball player. Let's, yeah. let's just go let the fur fly and see where it ends up. Let the fur fly indeed. Leon, how's Abu Kijab doing and how important is his leadership this season? Uh, Abu's, it's so important. And uh, not just his leadership, but, you know, we've kind of nicknamed him. I got a new nickname for him. He's the fireman. Ooh. Uh, yeah, because he can just solve a lot of problems. He just puts out all, you got a problem on defense, a guy escapes to the rim, the fireman can come in and put out the fire. And uh, he's he's that kind of player. And, you know, we want to be able to build our defense around that a little bit where guys can just come over and make plays a little bit more and, and play on their, um, you know, on their feel and on their, you know, uh, reaction and, and how they see the game instead of having to think it. Just let the, let the fireman come put it out. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, this, this is my, I call this my Kellen Moore season covering the Broncos, season number 11 for me, Leon. You've actually been here one year longer than I have, so I got to ask, I, I see the blue Boise State helmet up, up behind you. W what do you have to do to get one of the new throwback orange ones that they're going to wear today against Nevada? Oh, I like it. If Maybe if I get the score prediction exactly right, I, <laughs> I get an orange helmet, no doubt. So that would make mine uh, my Roger Staubach year, I think, since we're staying with the Cowboys. <laughs> hey, Leon, how much fun have you had getting to know Andy Avalos? And what does it mean for you to be around the, the energy of, of a Boise State football Saturday? Oh, I love it. I, I just live for it. Uh, I mean, just like our all our fans do, I get so excited. And and then to just have such a I just the way we kept it in the family and and a guy like Andy, such a good person. He, he's about what we're what our programs are all about. Uh, he represents us so well. He's a, he's going to be a great coach, great leader. It, it's just been awesome to have him back and 
he's going to do some great things here. I, I'm I'm so excited to see it, and it's going to, you know, starting the last Saturday and on to this week. Hey, Leon, what are your thoughts on that new logo we're going to see today, and also any chance we could see it in a basketball uniform potentially? Well, that's a nice segue. There might be a few surprises <laughs> on the basketball unis this year too. So uh, I love it. I love it. I have it uh, sitting here in my office from uh, – what is that, 1988, when I got my first rejection letter from Boise State. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's sitting there right there on the letterhead, a letter from Bobby Dye that said, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> I, I heard uh, you went over to the Western Idaho Fair. You got like kind of like a character of your face, right? And that's what's going to be at center court at Extra Mile Arena this season. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah, that would be intimidating, wouldn't it? I, I think so. <laughs> all, all right, Leon, you, you are always so good at this, and we'll pretend to roll like the scroll at the bottom of the screen now where we don't solicit betting advice. But your Thank prediction you. for today's game, I know how much you study the opponents that Boise State plays. You, you know the, the entire Nevada roster, basically. You were just educating us before we hopped on this call with you. Well, you know, I've, I've watched them, and my, they're a good football team. This is going to be a heck of a football game. And, you know, they got a quarterback in Carson Strong that is terrific. And he's got, he's got threats on the, on the edges with those receivers. And, but we've got great DBs, and they know how to get takeaways, and they're going to get them at crucial times. And I'm calling 31-24 Broncos. And we're going to get a big stop at the end of the game, uh, a big turnover, and that's going to that's going to finish it for us. <laughs> I love it, Leon. I love it. You're probably going to be spot on, Leon. I I picked that score yesterday too, so I'm running stride for stride with you on that one. Boy, you State picked covers, 31 24. 31 24. Boy State barely covers, and the game barely goes I, over what what they expect it to. I don't need. I don't know anything about covering. Or I know anything. you don't. I know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to set you up and get you in trouble. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just telling you what the score is going to be. I see it. Yeah, Leon. It's as always. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for the uh, the advice on today's game, as well as a few laughs here this morning. Uh, maybe we'll see you out there on the blue on the sidelines a little bit later on today. Thanks, Leon. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Excited to see all the Bronco fans in orange, and let's go get them. <laughs> Oh, Leon's the best. I got to say, too, when the Broncos win, Leon Rice is 100% accurate. <laughs> I see what you did there. When they win. When they win. <laughs> Leon's the best, though. He is. We He's great. so much fun with him. He's great. And honestly, he really does pay attention to these, these things, does. too. Yeah, he, does. he really does care about watching Boise State football and, and seeing how they do.